the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello and welcome to our Christmas Eucharist today. If you would like to follow along with the liturgy, this can be downloaded from our homepage on the website, eastvaleavon.com. And if you would like to read today's sermon, you can find that under the Worship tab. Just click on Sermons and Homilies. Do I not fill heaven and earth, says the Lord? Now the word is made flesh and laid in a narrow manger. From eternity to eternity you are God, and now we see you as a newborn child. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. It's lovely that you are able to join us for this service particularly if you are unable to get to church this year for reasons of safety and good health. Although it's been an extraordinary year, we celebrate Christmas as a time when God is alongside those who are vulnerable, remembering Jesus laid in a manger. So as we do these things today, we do so with hearts filled with joy, remembering the shepherds, and the wise men as they sought out Jesus, as we seek out Jesus in our own way today. So as we do these things this morning, we say together the words of the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ, the light of the world, has come to dispel the darkness of our hearts. In his light, let us examine ourselves and confess our sins. And so we say together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's join together in the words of the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. So let us pray. Almighty God, you have given us your only begotten Son to take our nature upon him, and as at this time to be born of a pure virgin. Grant that we, who have been born again, and made your children by adoption and grace, may daily be renewed by your Holy Spirit. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Well, we come now to our readings. Our first reading comes from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 1, beginning to read at verse 1. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, 
he hath spoken to us by a son, whom he appointed heir of all things, through whom he also created the worlds. He is the reflection of God's glory and the exact imprint of God's very being, and he sustains all things by his powerful word. When he had made purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become as much superior to angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh, and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. We come now to the part of our service where if you would like to, you can pause the video and read our sermon. And when we rejoin together, we will say the words of the Creed. So let us affirm our faith together saying, We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is, seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We come now to our time of intercessory prayer. So let us pray. God sent his Son to live among us. Let us pray in the confidence of our new life in him. Rejoicing in the birth of our Lord and Saviour, we pray that the Church may be continually reborn. Let us share the humility of the manger. 
the adoration of the shepherds, the love of the Holy Family, in the light of him who is the light of the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, O Lord, that you will pity and pardon this world of conflict, death to the message of peace. Bring harmony where there is strife between nations and where people are divided by suspicion and bitterness. Heal those who have no peace within themselves. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the families and friends with whom we celebrate this happy time. Give us true love, unselfish desires and grateful hearts. We pray especially for children, for their unclouded joy at this time. We pray especially this year for all those who are separated from family and loved ones due to the coronavirus. We pray for those who are isolated this Christmas. May they know the comfort of your Holy Spirit surround them and help create in us a pattern of human love that will lead all to the love of God who sent his Son as a little child. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who cannot feel the joy of Christmas through the burden of sickness, bereavement or any other distress. Comfort with your presence all who are separated at this time from those whom they love and bring the light of Christ into any who have afflicted lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, O Lord, that you will have mercy on all those who are departed, having shared with Christ their human birth and infancy, and have shared with him also the death of the body. Make their joy complete in the kingdom where there is neither death nor birth, but abundant life without end. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Through Christ, who is the hope of the nations and the joy of all people, we make our prayers to God, who is most wonderfully with us. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. This night, the holy angels sang glory to God in highest heaven, and on earth peace to all in whom he delights. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. Word made flesh, life of the world. By your incarnation you embraced our poverty. By your spirit may we share in your riches. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. All glory and honour be yours always and everywhere, mighty Creator, ever-living God. We give you thanks and praise for your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, who, for love of our fallen race, humbled himself and was born of the Blessed Virgin Mary by the power of your Spirit and lived as one of us. In this mystery of the Word made flesh, you have caused his light to shine in our hearts to give knowledge of your glory in the face of Jesus Christ. In him we see our God made visible, and so are caught up in the love of the God we cannot see. Therefore, with all the angels of heaven, we lift our voices to proclaim the glory of your name 
and sing our joyful hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you, gave it to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and the cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the saviour of the world. Lord of all life, Help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes, and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms, and bring us with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord and God, St Joseph and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and for ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Christ is the true bread which has come down from heaven. Lord, give us this bread always.
Let us pray. God, our Father, whose word has come among us in the Holy Child of Bethlehem, may the light of faith illumine our hearts and shine in our words and deeds, through him who is Christ the Lord. Amen. And we join together in saying, Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. The Lord be with you. Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, fill you with peace and goodwill and make you partakers of the divine nature. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. And a very happy Christmas to you all. <laughs>